hi friends this is Naresh in this class I am going to explain about engineering mechanics and uh, today's topic is area moment of inertia of Z and I sections okay this is a Z section having uh, three rectangles and uh, this is I section having uh, three rectangles plus one cover plate so that is a total number of sections equal to four for I section for this particular uh, case okay I section having cover plate at the top of the flange before going to the class we have to know the fundamentals these are the basic formulas these formulas are used in our problem therefore you have to remember these formulas for every problem the given Z section and I section consists only rectangle therefore you have to know the formulas of rectangular section this is a rectangle having a base B and a depth D therefore the area of a rectangle A equal to base into D that is a base into depth okay A equal to B into D is the area of a rectangle and XX YY axis are the reference axis the centroid of a rectangle CZ is the centroid of a rectangle the centroid lies at where its diagonals meet to each other therefore these are the diagonals the intersecting point is here therefore this is the centroid of a rectangle the given rectangle is symmetric about x and y axis therefore the centroid lies at half of the base and half of the height okay the gx and gy axis are called centroidal axis these are these axis are passing through the centroid okay gx and gy axis are called central axis okay xx and yy axis are called reference axis here igx igx is called area moment of inertia about centroidal gx axis okay about these axis igx equal to bd by 12 similarly area moment of inertia about igy there is a area moment of inertia about uh, centroidal y axis this about this axis that is i z y equal to d b cube by 12 ok now now for uh, determining the centroid position of centroid the basic formula is x c equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 Similarly, y c equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 so where x c is the distance of centroid from y axis y c is the distance of centroid from x axis ok now ok please this is the centroid from here to here the horizontal distance from centroid to y axis y axis is called x c and from centroid to x axis the vertical distance is called yc okay xc equal to base by 2 and yc equal to depth by 2 d by 2 okay from parallax theorem or transfer theorem the area moment of inertia about xx axis i ixx equal to igx plus area into yc minus y1 whole square for section 1 and this is for section 2 this is for another section 3 like this similarly area moment of inertia about y y axis equal to i y y equal to i g y plus area into x c minus x whole square for section 1 for section 2 for section 3 ok these uh, formulas are used in our problems so you have to remember now coming to the problem the question is determine the area moment of inertia of an given Z section ok the given section is in Z shape having three rectangles ok 
first of all the given z section is split up into small rectangles i consider this bottom rectangle as a section 1 having dimensions base 100 mm and height 20 mm therefore i consider this bottom section as section 1 base b1 b1 equal to 100 mm and d1 equal to 20 mm okay similarly from here from here to here i consider as section 2 okay this is section 2 having dimensions base 2 base 2 equal to 20 mm and depth d2 d2 equal to from from here to here only that is uh, 80 minus 20 equal to 60 therefore d2 equal to 60 and d1 equal to 20 okay where b refers base d refers height or depth okay suffix 1 suffix 1 refers section 1 suffix 2 refers section 2 similarly suffix 3 refers section 3 now from here to here i consider this as section 3 having dimensions base b3 base b3 and depth d3 depth d3 equal to this is uh, d3 equal to 10 mm and base 3 equal to base 3 equal to 120 mm okay this is third section now now i consider the reference x axis at the bottom edge and uh, y axis at the left side edge okay this is the origin now first of all you have to find the location of individual centroids then after you have to find the value of area moment of inertia now in this in this slide i am going to find the values of individual centroids so this is section 1 therefore area of a bottom rectangle a1 equal to b1 into d1 that is 100 by 20 equal to 2000 mm square that is area 1 similarly area 2 equal to base 2 into depth d2 b2 d2 that is 20 by 60 area 2 equal to 20 by 60 equal to 1200 mm square and uh, area 3 equal to base 3 into depth d3 that is equal to area 3 equal to b3 d3 120 by 10 that is equal to 1200 mm square this is the reference x axis and uh, this is the reference y axis this is origin okay now i am drawing the diagonal lines for locating the individual centroids so the centroid of a rectangle lies at where its diagonals meet to each other therefore the intersecting point of these two diagonals is called centroid so c1 is the centroid of a yellow rectangle at a distance of x1 from a to here x1 from y axis and y1 from x axis okay this is y1 this is x1 here the gap is uh, 100 mm therefore the b here x1 for a value of x1 x1 equal to gap 100 mm plus half of the base that is a uh, gap 100 mm plus b1 by 2 that is uh, 100 plus 50 equal to 150 mm x1 equal to 150 mm similarly y1 equal to half of the height that is d1 by 2 from here to here the centroid value at y1 equal to d1 by 2 equal to 10 mm okay now i am drawing the diagonals for uh, section 2 c2 is the center of a second rectangle at a distance of x2 from here to here the value is x2 from y axis and y2 from x axis okay from here to here the value is x y2 the answer x2 equal to gap 100 mm plus half of the base that is 100 mm plus b2 by 2 100 plus 20 by 2 equal to 110 mm and y2 equal to height of a bottom rectangle plus half of the second rectangle that is d1 plus d2 by 2 similarly i am drawing the diagonal lines for uh, section 3 c3 is the centroid of a third rectangle 
at a distance of uh, x3 x3 equal to base by 2 here yeah, there is no gap so we need therefore the answer x3 equal to base 3 by 2 that is uh, 60 mm and y3 equal to from here to here the value is y3 that is a uh, height of a bottom rectangle plus height of a middle rectangle plus half of the height of third rectangle that is uh, y3 equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 by 2 okay this is y3 this is y2 this is y1 and this is from here to here x1 from here to here x2 from here to here the value is x3 from figure x1 equal to 150 mm x2 equal to 110 mm x3 equal to 60 mm and y1 equal to 10 mm y2 equal to 50 mm y3 equal to 85 mm okay these values are written in tabular form on next slide so these are the section numbers section 1 as a bottom rectangle section 2 as a middle rectangle section 3 as a top rectangle now these are the individual dimensions these are the individual areas x and y are the dimensions of uh, centroids and uh, igx igy are the area moment of inertia about centroidal axis igx means area moment of inertia about centroidal xx axis centroidal gx axis and igy is the area moment of inertia about centroidal gy axis okay igx equal to bd cube by 12 and igy equal to db cube by 12 from uh, previous slide already we have discussed about uh, fundamentals and uh, basic formulas from from that formulas i written here so igx equal to bd cube by 12 igy equal to db cube by 12 okay and from general expression x equal to the distance of centroid or center of gravity from yy axis and y c equal to the distance of centroid center of gravity from x x axis and the formula is x equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 answer is x c equal to 114.54 mm this is uh, the distance of centroid from y y axis okay similarly y c equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 and the answer is y is equal to 41.36 okay these two are the uh, coordinate values for a uh, centroid centroid of an z section okay where c1 c2 c3 are the individual centroids whereas cz is the centroid or center of gravity of an entire z section okay at a distance of xc that is from here to here the value is xc that is 114.54 and from here to here the value is yc yc equal to 41.3 m okay yc equal to 41.3 xc equal to 114.54 mm and gx gy are the centroid axis the centroid axis passing through the centroid cz okay so the moment of inertia about these axes are called IGX and IGY and the moment of inertia about these axes are called IXX and IYY okay from parallax theorem or transfer theorem IXX equal to area moment of inertia about base that is XX axis IXX now IYY is the area moment of inertia about YY axis okay from general formula ixx equal to igx plus area into yc minus y whole square this is for section 1 that is bottom rectangle this is for middle section that is a vertical rectangle and uh, this is for third rectangle that is top rectangle and substitute the values we will get the answer ixx equal to 4778484.91 mm power 4 similarly iyy equal to igy plus area into xc minus x1 whole square this is for bottom rectangle this is for middle rectangle this is for top rectangle okay the answer is iyy equal to 9185.9181 mm power, mm power 4 okay these are the final answers okay these are these two are called area moment of inertia about reference axis ixx and iyy okay
x c and y c are called coordinates of centroid okay final answers i x x and i y v now in next slide i am going to explain how to determine the the area moment of inertia of an i section having top cover plate okay uh, this uh, i section consists of uh, four rectangles that is uh, bottom flange web top flange and top cover plate first of all the given i section is uh, split up into four rectangles that is a bottom rectangle bottom rectangle that is a bottom flange having dimensions base b1 b1 equal 100 mm and d1 d1 equal to 20 mm and this is a section 2 i consider this uh, vertical rectangle as a section 2 having dimensions base 2 equal to 20 mm and depth d2 d2 equal to from from here to here the value is d2 equal to 60 mm now i consider this horizontal top flange as uh, section 3 having dimensions base 3 depth d3 d3 equal to 10 mm and base 3 equal to from here to here the value is 120 mm that is b3 equal to 120 mm now i consider this uh, horizontal top cover plate as uh, section 4 having dimensions base b4 base b4 equal to 150 mm and depth d4 d4 equal to 20 mm okay now i consider the x axis at the bottom edge and y axis at the left side edge sorry this uh, given i section is symmetric about uh, vertical axis therefore i consider vertical axis uh, here uh, this uh, the given entire i section is symmetric about y axis therefore the centroid lies on this y axis okay the individual centroids c1 c2 c3 c4 also lies on this vertical axis only and the values of x1 x2 x3 x4 are zero because it is symmetric about y axis okay now coming to the areas area of your bottom rectangle that is a bottom flange a1 equal to 100 into 20 this is area 1 100 into 20 and that is base into depth and area 2 area 2 equal to base 2 into depth d2 base 2 equal 20 20 into 60 so area 2 equal 20 by 60 equal 1200 mm square and uh, a3 is the area of your top flange that is a uh, base 3 into d3 area 3 equal to 120 into 10 that is a 1200 mm square and uh, area 4 area this is uh, area 4 area 4 equal to base b4 into d4 b4 equal to 150 mm and d4 equal to 20 mm therefore area 4 equal to 150 by 20 that is a 3000 mm square these four are individual areas and the total area capital a equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 okay now i consider x axis at the bottom edge and y axis at a middle section the given i section is symmetric about y y axis therefore the centroids uh, c1 c2 c3 c4 lies on this y axis this is the origin now i am drawing the diagonal lines to locate the individual centroids this is c1 c1 lies on uh, y axis therefore x1 x1 equal to 0 and y1 equal to height by 2 that is d1 by 2 d1 by 2 equal to 10 mm similarly i am drawing the diagonal lines for a second section the centroid c2 the centroid c2 also lies on y axis that means x2 x2 equal to 0 and y2 equal to the height of your bottom rectangle plus half of the height of second rectangle that is d1 plus d2 by 2 y2 equal to d1 plus d2 by 2 now i am drawing the diagonal lines for section 3 
C3. C3 is the centroid of a third rectangle. It is also lies on y axis. That means x x3, x3 equal to 0 and y3, y3 equal to base base d1 plus base d2 plus half of the height d3 that is uh, y3 equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 by 2 now i am drawing the diagonal lines for uh, four section c4 is the center of a top cover plate it is also lies on y axis therefore x4 equal to 0 and y4 equal to height d1 plus height d2 plus d3 plus d4 by 2 okay now from diagram x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 0 x3 equal to 0 x4 equal to 0 here the values of x are 0 because the centroid c1 c2 c3 c4 lies on y axis okay Therefore, the values of x are 0, x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, x3 equal to 0, x4 equal to 0. Now, y1 equal to d1 by 2, y2 equal to d1 plus d2 by 2, and y3 equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 by 2, y3 equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 plus d4 by 2. These are the answers. Okay. I have written these uh, values in tabular form on next slide. These are the section numbers. Section 1 refers to bottom flange. Section 2 refers to web. Section 3 refers to top flange. Section 4 refers to top cover plate. Okay. And these are the dimensions and these are the individual areas. These are the individual centroids. X, one, X and Y values are called in centroids. And uh, IGX, IGY are called area moment of inertia about centroidal axis. Okay, IGX called area moment of inertia about centroidal GX axis and IGY axis is uh, area moment of inertia about centroidal GY axis. Okay, from uh, previous uh, slide already we have discussed about uh, basic formulas. For rectangular section IGX equal to base BD cube by 12 and IGY equal to DB cube by 12 and substitute the values these are the final answers now x c y c is the the distance of centroid from x and y axis c1 c1 is the centroid of a bottom rectangle c2 is the centroid of a web c3 is the centroid of a top flange and c4 is the centroid of a top cover plate okay CZ. CZ is the centroid of an entire I section. CZ means centroid or center of gravity. At a distance of YC. YC from X axis. That is YC equal to 65.135 mm. It is obtained from this uh, general formula. So substitute the values of a1, y1 plus a2, y2, a3, y3 and a4, y4 by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. The answer y c equal to 65.135. The value of x c equal to 0. Okay. Because the values of x1, x2, x3, x4 are 0. Therefore x c equal to 0. And uh, gx, gy, gx, gy axis are called centroidal axis. This centroidal axis passing through the centroid CZ. Okay. Whereas uh, X axis and YY axis are called reference axis. Now from general formulas. From parallax theorem or transfer theorem. IXX equal to area moment of inertia about XX axis. And IYY equal to area moment of inertia about YY axis. From formula IXX equal to IGX plus area into YC minus Y1 O square. This is for uh, bottom flange. This is for web. This is this is for uh, top flange, and this is for top cover plate. Okay, and substitute the values. We will get the answer. The final answer is IXX equal to 110 1151531.54 mm power 4. This is the area moment of inertia about XX axis. Similarly, IYY equal to area moment of inertia about YY axis. And the uh, formula is 
i y y equal to i g y plus area into x e minus x whole square. This is for bottom section. This is web. This this is for uh, top flange. This is for top core plate. Okay. The i y y equal to eight double seven one triple six point six seven mm power four. This is the final answer for area moment of inertia about y y axis. So uh, here i x x i y y are called area moment of inertia about about reference axis. Okay. These are the final values for area moment of inertia for uh, i section. Okay. Thank you.